Sony, Sony, Sony. You've only gone and done it. You've actually made a good movie based off of a Marvel character for once. You heard me right, Venom The Last Dance is out now and it's probably the best Sony movie out to date. Or is it? Eddie, the time has come. But before I get into the review, huge spoiler warning ahead because there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in the movie and it's best you see it for yourself on the big screen. So come back after having watched it. So the essential premise of the movie is that Noel wants this codec which essentially will free him from the prison that the symbiotes put him in. So he sends these xenophages after Eddie and Venom. This is because Eddie and Venom have the codec within them. And this codec is formed when a symbiote resurrects its host and the two become one essentially. And so the entire film is Venom and Eddie trying to get to New York, I forgot why, but yeah. And they're being chased by the police because they're still on the run from the ending of the last movie. And the secret operation unit of the army is also hunting them down because Toxin told them everything about Null. And also the Xenophages. Along the way they meet and befriend Martin and his family, played by Siphon, who wishes to go to Area 51 to find aliens. Then at the end we see the Xenophages attack Area 51 where Eddie and Venom are being held captive and the Xenophages just summon Null and more Xenophages. This leads to an all out brawl with the other symbiotes teaming up to protect Earth from Null. And the battle ends with Venom sacrificing himself in order to save everyone. Then in the mid credit scene we see that Null is prepared to take over the multiverse now that Venom is dead and also the bartender guy is alive still. Before I get to my thoughts on the movie I do want to say that I did quite like the other two Venom movies especially the second one which is probably one of the worst takes in history but I do really like those movies and this movie by far is the best in the trilogy. Like the ending was just just emotional. Venom's sacrifice was actually the saddest thing I have seen in recent times. Even Deadpool and Wolverine didn't hit me like this. I was on the verge of crying. Though the emotional beats in Deadpool and Wolverine was more wholesome than it is sad. However, the humor in this movie was literally non-existent. I think I laughed like once and that was when Martin runs away from the xenophage. For some reason Venom's joke in this movie just didn't seem to land. Eddie and Venom in this movie do seem very different to how they were in the other two movies because the best part of the last two movies was the bickering and the arguing between the two and in this one there's hardly any. Probably the only arguing scenes I remember are the ones at the start and the one in the casino. Besides that the two of them were weirdly in sync in this movie. Say that again. Which was both a good thing and a bad thing. The other characters in this movie didn't really hold much weight. The only one I can really remember is Martin and his family. Now Reciphon returning did raise some questions since you know he is the lizard. But Martin was actually a really good wholesome character despite being a complete nut job. A lot like Reciphon's character in Harry Potter. And this does prove that the Venom universe is not the same as the Andrew Garfield movies. Ruling out Andrew Garfield being the Spider-Man of this universe. Unless if Sony secretly teases that Martin was in fact the lizard the whole time. Now Rex Strickland played by Shibato Ejiofor was so underutilized like Bro just randomly takes over the lab and orders them to kill Eddie. And this just sort of happens out of nowhere. Also who is that guy that he's talking to? He seemed like the original main Main villain of the movie but was just overshadowed by Null. Also Toxin's in this movie. Yeah he's in this movie for about two seconds before he's eaten by the Xenophages. Again he was teased at the end of Let There Be Carnage and he shows up for literally two seconds. Despite that his design was really cool though in some places the CGI was kind of odd. Now there's a simple solution to all of these problems. Just by increasing the runtime and exploring the characters more would just make it so that people don't forget that people like Toxin are in this movie. But there are good things in this movie too. The whole final battle in Area 51 was actually spectacular to watch and it's all thanks to the other symbiotes in the movie. For example we had a green symbiote Lasher that bonded to the Christmas scientist and was kind of doing everything whilst Venom hid within Eddie. Also Agony the purple speedster symbiote's arrival was so cool and it was kind of like a full circle moment for Dr. Payne. Besides the ending though nothing really stuck for me in this movie. But the ending did make it go from a mediocre movie to a good movie and it pushed it above the other two Venom movies. Also we do have to give props to Sony because they've somehow managed to make a movie timeline that flows from one to the next which is something that the newer MCU movies lack like Far From Home and Let There Be Carnage linked to No Way Home. No Way Home then links to this with the post credit scene being literally the opening scene of the movie and this links to Spider-Man 4 which despite what you think about the Sony movies and how bad the connections are between the movies you can still appreciate the fact that they did this unless if Marvel goes out and just completely ignores this movie for Spider-Man 4 which would be hilarious but although I do want to see Noel fight Spider-Man but I also do want to see him team up with Daredevil. I don't know. Now it seems 
just the, the thoughts on this movie online it is pretty negative so there are some good reviews here and there the main takeaway is that people think this movie sucks and to be honest the movie is bad besides the ending but since the rest of the movie isn't that memorable it just looks cool and is cool and for that reason this movie gets a 6.5 out of 10 maybe a 7 depends on what i think on a rewatch but do comment below your thoughts and subscribe whilst you're there